Hello Nidorinos and Nidorinos, it is King Nido here and today we have the Golden Rod Aces hosting the very special side that is the Holon Heroes and we will be seeing the strongest Pokemon in Slacking taking on the weakest in Ditto. These are the opposing Pokemon in the Poketype League. I cannot wait to see, I hope we see both these Pokemon on this field at the same time. Let us know in the comments below who you think will win this matchup and as it is we will send it down to the field let's get this going Three, two, one, go! as i said we will have the strongest and the weakest pokemon in the poker type league but the starting off it is glaceon and jolteon for the holon heroes a ranguru and oink alone for the golden road aces and it is judgment time for oink alone from jolteon I do not believe it passed that judgment test as the simple beam will change that bolt absorb ability that Jolteon has into the simple ability here. It is the female on cologne on the side of the Golden Road Aces as well as a Psy Shock from Glaceon onto the Psychic type of Ranguru. Not very effective, it is a Psychic Normal type and it immediately goes for the Moonlight so it is going to restore itself back to full strength already in this matchup. Jolteon there now going for the Sludge. On to a Ranguru, immediately putting that damage back onto it. Now on Cologne with the points, pain split, sorry, does give a bit of pain to Jolteon as Glaceon now setting up with the Fire Fang onto Oink Cologne. Doesn't do much damage though, as a Ranguru with the Perish Song, a very early play for such a move, will put all these Pokemon out of this matchup in three turns. They will all be eliminated. There is that count falling to three for all four Pokemon that are currently on in the field. And now Jolteon with the Freeze Dry, taking some inspiration from Glaceon here. Onto Oinkalone, who responds with the Victory Dance. It is going to boost its speed here, but it is also going to boost its attack and defense, boosting both those physical stats here. See if it can capitalize on it. See if it can actually move quicker than Jolteon. That will be very impressive. As an Ice Punch onto a Ranguru from Glaceon, getting that stab boost. A Ranguru with the Stone Axe onto Jolteon. It's also going to set up the spikes, the pointed stones on the side, so of the Holon heroes. So if we see any other evolutions come out onto this field, they will be taking damage from those pointed stones as the perish count falls to two, only two more turns left for all the Pokemon on the field. As the smackdown is laid onto a Ranguru from Jolteon, Oink alone with a stone axe of its own. That was much more effective this time under Jolteon as a Sing is going to put a Ranguru to sleep, taking it out of this matchup practically until it's eliminated by that Perish Song, a Ranguru fast asleep on the field here. Good play there by the Evolutions, practically taking it out of this matchup. A turn early as all their Perish Counts fall to one here. Last turn left for the four Pokemon on the field, and a Terrain Pulse from Jolteon onto Oinkalone. Not enough damage to get the elimination as Oinkalone responds with the Scale Shot, and it does get the elimination. Jolteon is taken out of the matchup. Oinkalone will get the credit for that elimination. Only needs to hit it one time as well. Blower its defenses with that Scale Shot, getting that speed boost. Another speed boost for Oinkalone, in fact. Glaceon, though, setting up for a Solar Beam. It will not be able to finish this off, though. It is going to be eliminated before that happens. Oranguru still fast asleep on the field. And even though Jolteon was eliminated, everyone else will be joining it. it Oink alone, the first to go out of this matchup. This was a real risky play by the Golden Rod Aces, but we are practically starting from scratch, except now it is a 4v4 battle between these two sides. You have the normal type, you have the Delta type going on in this matchup. And it is Espeon coming out first for the Holon Heroes. And it's going to be joined by Leafeon. We have Pyroar coming out female form as well as Tauros in its Cantonian form for the no normal types as those pointed stones do dig into the evolutions. Tauros going for the supersonic and it is going to leave Leafeon in a confused state. I do not believe Queen Nido will want to be seeing that happen. And Espeon, the psychic type Pokemon, goes for the Hex. It will not affect Pyro. They are immune to ghost type attacks as Pyro with the play rough on the Leafeon here. Gets a good hit there as Leafeon needs to shake off this confusion. And it will be able to. And it's going to set up for a Solar Beam just like Glaceon tried to do. Looks like Leafeon will have better chances of finishing this move off though. As the wing attack from Espeon, Pyro taking its first damage of the matchup with that critical hit. 
Now Taurus with the fake out. It is going to fail, unfortunately. And now Pyro is going to go for the Drain Punch on the Leafeon. Does not do enough damage to take it out of this matchup, which means if Leafeon can shake off this confusion, it will be able to complete the Solar Beam here. Keep in mind, Pyro surely should have capitalized on its part Fire type to go for the Grass type. And here's Leafeon with the Solar Beam now. On to Taurus. Gets a great hit there on the normal type Pokemon. As Taurus responds with the Reflect, it is going to make its side stronger against physical type moves. Espeon now with the Metal Claw on to Pyro. That is not very effective at all. And now Pyro is going to respond with the Acid Spray onto Leafeon and gets the super effective elimination. And Pyro being on the home side has that hidden ability. Being Moxie, it will get the attack boost here. And it's Ditto, the weakest Pokemon in the Poker Type League, coming out onto the side for the Hollow Heroes. And immediately, it is going to change forms into Pyro. So it's going to get that boosted attack that Pyro just got. And it will have the Moxie ability now, as it will terrestrialize into the normal type. The special thing with Ditto on the side of the Hollow Heroes is it will always terrestrialize into the opposing side's type. Look forward to seeing how that plays out through the season. But a Draco Meteor now from Espeon gets the elimination on Taurus, immediately leveling the playing field. It is now a three versus three battle. Pyro now going for the block on to its fellow Pyro, which is Ditto, who can now no longer escape. And now Ditto with the strength that has that boosted attack, thanks to that Moxie. And Pyro is able to hold on, but that was a fantastic hit as Miss Magius, the terrestrial Pokemon for the Golden Lord Aces comes out and is also going to take the form of a terrestrialized normal type. We will see those big crowns on the field. Miss Maggie is taking that shape early on. It is a beautiful sight to behold. And Espeon immediately welcomes it with the Terror Blast onto the terrestrialized Pokemon. Gets the critical hit as well. Pyro is going to follow it up with the Heat Crash on to Miss Magius and the 1 2 combination. Miss Magius is already taken out of this matchup, was not able to capitalize on its terrestrial form whatsoever. This is fantastic for the Holland Heroes. They are building the momentum. And Ditto with the Moxie boost as well. That present now coming from Pyro onto Ditto almost gets the elimination and Slacking now comes out onto the field. We have the strongest, we have the weakest, but the cut. Does not get the job done on to Pyro from Espeon. Pyro with the no retreat. It is not backing down. Going for the Omni boost. It will fight until the end. But it is an easy target for the Holon Heroes at the moment. Ditto in its Pyro form could actually take it out here. And it is instead going to go for an Iron Defense. I do not think it will be able to stop that massive 160 physical attack of slacking if it decides to and goes for the crush claw onto Espeon but Espeon holds on Pyro with the metal sound does not go for the elimination of either heroes it does lower that special defensive ditto however as Espeon with the iron tail now onto slacking very little damage and Pyro with the aerial ace uh, sorry ditto with the aerial ace onto Pyro how confusing with two of the same Pokemon on the field gets another moxie boost this is the third Moxie boost on to Ditto, thanks to that earlier one that Pyro had as the team's Reflect wears off. That is not good for Slacking. And an Aura Sphere, this will be super effective on a Slacking who was unable to go because of its true ability. And it is followed up by a Hurricane from Ditto, but Slacking is able to avoid that attack. And, and because Ditto has a low PP, it's already eating its Leopard Berry. And now Slacking going for the Defense Curl, going to boost that 100 base physical defense here. But it is needing to go for those attacks. It's by itself as a heat crash on the slacking from Espeon. And now Ditto going for the Mega Horn with that boosted attack. Does not get the job done though. Slacking with its true ability is loafing around. It's an easy target. The Electro Ball from Espeon trying to go for the elimination. Slacking holds on. This is going to allow Ditto though to go for a wrap. It's going to be a wrap that finishes off this matchup and it is a wrap folks that was a terrible terrible pun but the horn heroes have won their very first matchup in the poker type league they have defeated the golden red aces and it was ditto that took out slacking how fitting this is going to put the heroes on top of the leaderboard but ditto eliminate slacking that could not have gone any better for the heroes they are letting all the other sides know that they are 
here to play and I cannot wait but in our very next matchup it will be the Glacado Nordics taking on the Cortondo Dustmites in an all Paldeo affair there but until then, Nidorinos, Nidorinos, thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on fifth. And if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, share, subscribe. But more importantly, always remember, you are awesome, and I'll see you when you see me.